down to some national science and math quiz. And to our biology, it's a biology Thursday, our trivial question. Here we go with the question of the day. And then afterwards, uh, of course, uh, my guest, I have a teacher in the studio from Presec Solomon, Jedida Abidiako from Points, a biology teacher. Uh, Presec Legon. And I asked this question from the very beginning of the, of the show. Koji Yang Sing tried. He didn't really trick me. He, he gave a, a typical Ghanaian response to the answer. Uh, it can only be witchcraft for a bear to stand on a, 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 an electronic wire that, should, that would electrocute a human being, but it won't do the same to the bed. By the way, that's uh, actually the history to even the National Science and Mass Quiz. Let's check out the question again. So why can birds why can birds stand on a live electric wire without getting electrocuted, but human beings cannot do the same? We'll check out the response that we got from Facebook and then we gave a WhatsApp number so you can post your answers there as well. When that is ready, we will let you see what people are saying. But good morning to you, sir. Good morning, madam. Actually, I'm an old student of Presec and a former quiz contestant. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, a former contestant, 2011. Yeah, yeah, but I tried the quiz and come on. So we are hungry and we are capable oh, really? this year for the quiz. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good to know. But listen, is this a very difficult question? Um, it's, it's not too difficult, but it is technical. Okay. Because it has a, a mixture of a bit of physics and then biology. Ah. Yeah. Just this. Just this question. Because okay. it's got to do with electricity, electric poles, mm -hmm. current flowing. Okay. Uh -huh. So there's a law in physics known as the Ohm's law, which I would like to quote or paraphrase. So mm. it talks about the fact that the current passing through a metallic conductor between two ends of a, meta a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference. That is the voltage difference be across the ends of that same wire mm. or conductor. Okay. So without a potential difference, can I use a word Yes, now? please do. Yes. So without a potential difference, which we call PD, we cannot have current flowing. Current. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this law states inversely that proportionally that I is proportional to V. Mm -hmm. And so when you want to use this into an equation form, you have V is equal to k, which is a constant, multiplying i. We did this in basic um, proportions. So this is a direct proportion. So this k here is what we found that it is resistance r. So in physics now, we have this. So in summary, we have v is equal to ir, which every secondary school science student knows mm -hmm. that this is Ohm's law. OK. Ohm's law. OK, so this is the potential difference or the voltage. I is the current and R is the resistance. Okay. Now, current always flows through the path of least resistance. So if the bed is standing on a single wire, mm -hmm. the bed is standing on a single wire, the path of least resistance compared to the bed, which is made up of cells and tissue. So let's say this is an electric pole. And this is one line. Mm -hmm. So this is our electric pole. And then we have a bed patch in here. Mm -hmm. So Not this is our bed. bed. Yes. Okay. So this is our bed. Let's say it has its wings around. Mm -hmm. Forgive my drawing. So this is <laughs> our bed standing on the electric pole. This is the part of least resistance compared to the cells and tissues that a bed is made of. Oh. So the caveat here is that if the bed is standing on a single wire, mm -hmm. there's no potential difference, which I call the PD, to allow current to come in, oh. to flow. Okay. So the circuit is not closed on the bed, but is closed on the wire ah. and is transmitted along. Okay. Now, the feet of the bed also is made up of keratin and certain scales that provide some form of resistance to it. So it doesn't allow it to conduct. It serves as an, an insulation pad. That's what everybody knows in general. But there's more to it. This same bed, if it happens to flout out its wings, mm -hmm. such that, let's say we have a bat, and then the bed hangs this way with the legs now 
this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's say this is our bat, the body of our bat here, like that. And then the wings goes out that way. Okay. Now we know the bat has wings that fans out. Mm -hmm. So we have, let's say, another one that way. Yeah. And then we have the eyes of the bat here, and then let's see the mouth mm -hmm. here like that. And this is our bat. And then this wings is on another electric mm -hmm. wire this way. Mm -hmm. Then we have a potential difference created because they carry different voltage. Okay. So once that is established, then current can now flow, and the bat will now close the circuit. So we have two types of circuits, the open circuit and the closed, and the closed circuit. Mm. Open circuit doesn't allow electricity or current to flow through. Mm -hmm. And then the closed circuit means that it's complete. So we have co incomplete or open, and then we have the closed or the complete circuit. Okay. So this is incomplete. And this is complete. So in this case, unfortunately for our bat, it will be electrocuted. Okay because there's a potential difference across and there are two different voltages, V1 for here and let's say V2 mm. passing through. Okay. Now, the last case is, let's say this part of the post of the electric pole is not wooden and let's say it's metallic mm -hmm. and then the bed stands or perches here. If the bed should perch here this time round and this is the earth surface, there's a potential difference between this metallic pole here and then the earth surface. So there will be a potential difference created between the electric pole, the metallic pole, and then the earth surface. Okay. Causing the grounding or the falling of potential from the metallic pole into the earth. And that will create another circuit. And that will be a complete circuit and the bed will be like. So this is no witchcraft. This is no witchcraft. <laughs> so we have three case scenarios. Yeah. And the extent of electrocution depends on how much current is flowing through the mm -hmm. system and then also the overall voltage of the electric wires and the electrical system. Fantastic. Yeah. I would have loved to show you uh, the answers. And I usually say, oh, it's easy for somebody to go and bring me some answer from somewhere. But this is actually the question that the person who first dreamt of the National Science and Mass Quiz, this is the scenario that he saw that, you know, out of which the national, we've seen the National Science and Mass Quiz now in its 25 years. Just a curious question of a bed on an electric why and why it is not electrocuted thank you sir yeah before i uh, leave yes there's something that yes, you do yes that so have, is, which is interesting you are engaging yes, our young ones yes who so are, we who we demystify and explain science and health okay through a show we call the science digest show on youtube okay. so you just type science digest show and then you get a lot of explanations and a lot of scientists coming on board we try to also bridge the gap between science and entrepreneurship so we create what we call the science brainer okay and then we also have a virtual learning platform which the is the brain in, education yes brain work education okay. yeah brain work education in case you want to be on any of these you can reach us brain work virtual education mm. virtual and this is for ghs and uh, ghs secondary school pre-medical school all right yeah okay so, so you can reach us on these numbers please let me put them there zero five four eight five nine three eight one five mm. or zero five sorry zero five five four five nine seven six two five okay yeah listen we will have you again i like sure. the 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 simplicity the way you've you know explained this for Every person to understand. Sure, that's what yeah. we do. So science digest, we yam ne fiko fiko. We mm. digest science. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, so listen, we've got showbiz coming up next. I'll give you maybe a second to take a snapshot if you haven't taken it. Our board, sure. shall we show them? Okay. All right. There you have it. Uh, thank you, Solomon, for being here. Thank you, We'll madam. see you again sure. soon. Stay thank with you. us. We've got show business coming your way.